this Sheriff Micah. So far tonight, it's been relatively calm. We have seen an increase of police doing patrols here. Also, helicopters uh, coming from above. Even a uh, parking enforcement has been here too. Take a look right now. As you see, cars are passing through. People are still able to uh, walk by as well and take pictures. But LAPD is looking to keep the 6th Street Viaduct off the news for all the wrong reasons. And they're hoping that conducting traffic enforcement this Sunday will do that. Since its opening, the 6th Street Viaduct has been LA's new hotspot for illegal street takeovers, dangerous thrill seekers, and some who will do anything to go viral, like this guy getting a haircut in the middle of the road. <laughs> Trying to go viral or, or what? Music video. To take action against this bad behavior, LAPD announced on Friday that on Sunday from 2 to 10, officers will impose traffic and pedestrian enforcement, all to curb the illegal activity. There's like no point and no reason to cause attention to be in the middle of the street when you could literally get hit. Guadalupe Casillas and her family traveled 84 miles from Victorville to take in the sights. But with all the bad behavior forcing closers, she wasn't sure if she'd get a chance to walk across the bridge. We just wanted to come stop by and stuff, but there's another reason why we can't be over here because less than like 30 minutes, there's going to be cops coming over here blocking off the bridge. Officers have closed the viaduct several times, including three straight nights starting on July 22nd. This is in response to multiple accidents on the bridge. So, yellow speed bumps have been added to the median. Daily graffiti teams have been out removing the street art. Higher fencing was installed to stop climbers, and increased patrols are on the ground. And above. I seen the bridge as it was, when it was, and, uh, so, and it's nice. Yeah, to be defied like that, it's disrespectful. Aside from the chaos on the surface, there's also been bedlam beneath the bridge. You don't even know about it! Uh, yeah, we have a large crowd defacing property right here around my building, um, 6 South Anderson Street. Um, they're right underneath the Whittier Bridge. One person was injured by a police projectile after LAPD says someone standing by the man threw fireworks at police. In a release Friday, LAPD says Sunday's enforcement will deter criminal activity, even if it leads to arrests. On Friday, City Councilman Kevin DeLeon, who represents this area, did introduce a motion directing several departments, including LAPD and the Department of Transportation, to report back to the city the resources they would need to improve safety here on the bridge. So it's going to be a multi-agency effort to get all that illegal activity, that unwanted attention away from this bridge, because, guys, it really is a beautiful thing to see, and it's used to bring people from Boyle Heights to downtown LA so they want to make sure it gets all cleaned up reporting live in Boyle Heights Pedro Rivera KTLA 5 News